What up, guys? KCRC Rock Bouncer here. Um, got an AR 60s on Hedgehog here that I am about to take off. I've been on there for about a week now. I took them off my daughter's race just for the final race of the year. I figured I'd change it up and see what I could get done with the setup. I just or with this setup and it was interesting it was fun it's definitely uh way more capable of jumping being set up like this um man yeah we could definitely jump we could jump far <laughs> it, it was quite entertaining i did a couple things to it to make it perform the best i could in the short amount of time I had it set up this way. Like, you know, small things. Like getting the wheelbase exactly where I wanted it and um, the hard part was making sure all the drive line cleared everything with this setup. It's got a dinky skid on it. It's got a Wraith transmission, twin hammer trailing arms, SCX-10-2 drive shafts, uh, my own custom links uh, on the front and then the top rear. Um, I left the, the stock steering lights on there, which is great because uh, I, I could take some seriously terrible spills and uh, it wasn't breaking the rig. And I think that was well worth it. It wasn't breaking the servo, it wasn't break because I've got everything stock, knuckles, hubs, dog bones, um, the lockouts in the rear are stock. The only thing that's been upgraded in the um, front or rear axle is the rear has an incision locker and axial uh, heavy duty gears uh, stock ratio. Um, other than that, that's the only thing that got upgraded on the axle. Nothing else got touched. So, didn't do too bad. We had finals today. Um, great freaking turnout. Had a great time. Good racing as always. Good, good honest competition. You know, of course everybody had their bad run here and there. But uh, nobody, nobody got too bent out of shape about it. Which is good. Um, yeah, just everybody had a kick-ass time, from what I could tell. We did a little different today. Um, we had four hills, and I asked a few people to volunteer to see if they would build a hill. I built one. Uh, Leslie Foster built a hill. Matt Higgins built a hill. Corey and Andrew built hills together. Or was it Corey and... Uh, I think actually it was Corey and Mike built the hill, the, one of the hills. Mike Ponders and Corey, uh, sorry, I think it's the Spiro. I'm not 100% sure, sorry buddy. I was actually impressed I was doing so well with everybody's names thus far. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, finals went great. Four hills. Um, I actually have the finish standings, I believe first place was Matt Higgins, uh, who just smashed everybody. I think second place was ooh, almost 80, 80 to 100 seconds behind, and he just, he smashed everybody. He did a great job. He did a great job all year long. Um, he's got his rig dialed in for sure, and uh, hopefully he keeps it that way. So... Yeah, we make for a more good competition next year as well. Um, Leslie did great today. He finally uh, plays. He's been that elusive uh, placing. <laughs> or the placing has been elusive to him because during practice, man, that guy can drive. And every time we go out and practice, he drives. Most time, he's driving around me, uh, making stuff that I'm doing. A, hard and he's making it look easy. You know, 
sometimes the nerves get to you or just the cards. And typically it's not even that. Typically it's just shit doesn't play out your way. I had three of my hills today um, just gave me all sorts of trouble. All sorts of trouble. And uh, I didn't really want to let up. I, uh, three of my hills uh, rolled me over. Two of them I was able to correct. One of them I was not able to correct at all. And uh, caused me to DNF. So that kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, Andrew did great today. Freaking, he, I mean, he's been bouncing for a little while, but as far as I know, he hasn't been bouncing a ton of time. And man, he can drive for sure. It's, it's pretty impressive to watch him. He keeps uh, his mood moving fast and smooth. So. I was just gonna say, uh, yeah, Matt's always driving good. Uh, Rick did awesome with his fucking one nine rig this year. I know. Yeah, just anybody running a one nine is kind of at a disadvantage in the hill climb. But uh, my hat tips off to those people. Um, Tyler Tanner's a one nine driver. There's a couple other people that like to keep it that way. They may not compete, but they do have one nine rigs that they use them for. That kind of stuff. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, looking forward to next year. Um, I think next year is going to change a little bit as far as who's directing the races and stuff. I'm still going to have a part to do with it. But I want to bring another club member who uh, is pretty invested in what we're doing, from what I can tell, and really enjoys it and wants to make the best out of it. So. Uh, if they're going to help take the reins with me and uh, just see what we can turn Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas rock bouncing into and hopefully it'll turn into something really good um, that would definitely that'd definitely be the best so time will tell um, we've got a uh, uh, thing you could call on is we've got a uh, couple meetings coming up here soon or, yeah, I'd say a couple. We got one base meeting that's going to get us going. And then soon after that, um, we're going to do some multiple sit-downs to get a more set standard of rules put in place for next year. So, uh, I'm going to it with... <clears throat> post it with the announcements at the beginning of the year. Uh, probably even before... Far in before the first of the year, just so people can get a good look at it and uh, know where we're at. Yeah, um, I think what we're gonna do, possibly for hill building, is you know during each comp is when the uh, competitors show up, we'd like the competitors to partake in the actual setting of the courses. Now, obviously, there'll there'll be pre work done before that time and then done to the hills just to get them clean and ready for setting up for racing but yeah the day of is when we're going to start setting the courses so that way you know it's it's as fair and transparent I guess if you could say nobody has any advantage over anybody else and I, you know, I really honestly, if people did ever feel that I had an advantage this year, you know, that definitely wasn't what I was going for. I just, I was out there and I was putting the time in, you know, to get hills ready. Whether people were going to race on them or not, that's the thing, is, you know, I'll go out and I'll get hills ready just so I can go play on them or so I can invite some people who may be interested to go out and play on them. You know, the racing obviously is a, a big fun part of it now and I really enjoy it, but uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know exactly what I'm getting at this moment. I guess I just want to keep it fun, keep it light. Fair. You, know, you can't make every 
single person happy. Somebody's always going to be upset about something. But, yeah, just, I guess, to recap the year, it was freaking great. Um, <laughs> side note, I don't think I already said this, but, uh, the Bounty Hill today, uh, very difficult. It got recut this morning, and nobody, only one person pre ran it, and they jumped it maybe three or four times or attempted to. And they didn't make it, but from what we could determine, it looked doable. So we went ahead and went with it. And uh, had uh, seven people or eight people who tried it. Um, only one who got it. <laughs> So it really made up uh, for my day of turtling and fighting this thing from flipping over. Man, when this thing flips over, it just it just doesn't want to ride itself. It's it's pretty ridiculous. It was, it was getting pretty frustrating because no matter what I did, it just it would not correct. That's what it felt like anyway. I'm looking forward to some more racing, for sure. So I got out. Even after the competition today, I got out again. <laughs> I figure I'd get out and play with this thing one more time before I took these AR-60s off it. Just uh, the way they're geared, man. They just go way faster than the SCX-10 2 axles. But. They did come out with overdrive gears for the SCX-10-2 axles, so I actually might uh, go ahead and invest in some of those and see what I can do to speed up those axles. See, now this is going to go right back on my daughter's wreath. She's down here. And I can cover some. So, the bottom one's obviously what I normally run. I mean, I was, I'm more predictable, I think, with these than I am these, even though these things are probably more capable. Hi, baby girl. What you doing? More capable than these, but I'm more used to driving these. Mm -hmm. Play about third place? Today? Yeah. Yeah. The third place. Making a video. You wanna help me? I don't know what you're gonna help me with. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything for you to do. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, to recap the year, racing's been great, and I really look forward to next year. It's a lot of fun, for sure. Um, Hedgehog's been a lot of fun. For my YouTubers, that only follow me on YouTube. Uh, Confliction is gone. It's been sold to uh, a person uh, that I met on Facebook and they're actually going to share it with somebody in their family and get them into the hobby because they go to the full-size races. So now they're gonna go to the full-size races and somebody's also gonna join in and driving in the comps. So it should be a good time. But uh, yeah, guys. Keep the rubber down. Have a good one.